help with where to retire in Mexico. Santa Clara del Cobre. Hi, broadcasting not live from Moralia, Mexico, I'm Bill the Geek. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel and we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. We have a new Facebook group, it's called Mexico Expats Living in Mexico, Bill Dallas Lewis. Join us, share your photos, your ideas, ask your questions. There's a link in the description below. Are you looking for a very special place to live or retire in Mexico? Maybe a smaller town, but really close to big cities? How about clean air, friendly people, and very safe? If you answered yes to any or all of these questions, you want to check out this video. Santa Clara de Cobre, population of about 50,000 people, is about a 15 minute drive from Pazcuaro, and it's an hour drive, hour and 20 minutes from Moravia. Now, Leon is the leather capital of Mexico. We've done videos about that. Tosco is the silver town of Mexico. Santa Clara de Cobre is the copper town of Mexico. Let's take a walk around the plaza, some of the streets, and at the end of this video, we're gonna show you copper shops. Copper, copper, copper. Let's take a look at the map. You can see Moralia up there at the top of the map, and the little red line, we're gonna get on the bus, and first we go through Pazcuaro, and that will take us right to Santa Clara del Cobre. It's about a one hour and 20 minute bus ride. We could pretty much drive there in 50 minutes if you put your pedal to the metal. The bus, the bus drops me off right next to the cathedral downtown. And that's where you catch the bus to go back on your direct route on the bus to Moralia. But you can see the surroundings. Uh, yes, the population is about 50,000 people. The town is extremely affordable. I saw some really nice houses with Mercedes Benz parked out front. Uh, the air was very fresh and clean and the people were very friendly. And they have this big copper, I guess you would call it a bowl, right off of the plaza, off El Centro. And here's the sign. Most, most towns paint their signs, but they have Santa Clara del Cobre in copper right on the plaza. The plaza is very peaceful and clean as all of the city was. And this is about 8.39 o'clock in the morning. But the plaza had a lot of hustle and bustle going on. This lady on the corner is selling fresh pork and people were buying it by the kilo. Fresh bread for sale. And actually, for this time in the morning, the town was just hustling and bustling. And who doesn't like to feed the pigeons and make them happy from time to time. The plaza is wonderful, but I love taking most of the day just walking around the small, very clean, European-like, tiny, clean streets. And they're painted, all of the buildings are painted uh, white with red doors, kind of, sort of. Um, but all the people, I loved seeing the diversity of ages in the town. It was very quiet. And a realtor in Mexico told me one time, you never know in Mexico what will be behind the doors. I did see some people with their doors open and they were uh, really modern with the big screen televisions and uh, internet. Everything was good to go, yet it's nice and clean with great air in the end. If you kick off, you have a heart attack, they got the boxes to put you in right in town. And I love these teeny tiny little streets. Can't you imagine living here? 
please leave a comment. Tell us what you think. If you know somebody that's looking for a nice place to stay in Mexico, click the share button. If you like the video, click the like button. Around 11 o'clock in the morning, all of the copper shops open up and it's just copper, copper, copper. Pots, pans, candle stands, that rhymes. Uh, I mean, it's all here, it's all bright and shiny. They even have copper cleaner. I was shocked. I'd never seen so much copper in my life. They even had copper coffins. Uh, and, and, and then you get away from just the regular shiny copper and they have things embedded in their copper. They make jewelry out of the copper. And about a block away from the uh, plaza is the Copper Museum. So you can see the history of copper. I mean, the streets are just loaded with copper and places to have snacks and beverages. And since it's close to Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, they even have dead people stuck up on the street amongst all the, I mean, you can hang out here. And then every August, they have their Copper Festival. And it's just everywhere you go, it's just shops and shops and shops of copper. You just can't get enough shot glasses of cop, copper, coffee, coffee pots of copper, 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 copper. I think you get the drift. All in all, I totally enjoyed my day in Santa Clara. It was very peaceful. And I can imagine with a nice apartment, high speed internet, paying about $350 a month for rent, I could go for it. We go live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Click that subscribe button and you'll get a notification and you can join our family and have a good time Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Thank you so much for watching. I spent a day in Santa Clara de Cobre and it was fabulous. You have to take a visit. Thank you for watching. Click that subscribe button. We have many more videos to come. Have a great day.